cleaning and cleaning materials. Cleaning is the most important and primary aspect of housekeeping. Cleaning involves sweeping floors, dusting furniture and other surfaces, mopping or washing floors, polishing surfaces, articles and accessories. Cleaning involves scrubbing tiles, sinks, toilets, disinfecting drains, rearranging cleaned areas and putting things in the specific place. Dust refers to the loose particles which are very easily moved by air and settled on any surface. It is easily removed with the help of a dry cloth. Dirt refers to dust which sticks to any surface with the help of moisture or grease. It is more difficult to remove and is done with a detergent or any other cleaning agent. Now let's study methods of cleaning. Dusting, wiping a surface which carries the loose dust with a piece of dry cloth. Next method, shaking and beating. Shaking or beating any soft material so that the dust falls out like a carpet rug or a curtain done mostly in open air so that other things do not get dusty. Sweeping, when a broom or a brush is used to carry the dust laterally along the room while sweeping any vertical surface as walls, one should start from the top and sweep downwards. For lateral sweeping, as for floors, start from one end of the room and move to another, preferably a door and carry the dust all along or collect in a dust pan. Wiping A surface with a damp cloth known as mop is called mopping. In this process, both the dust as well as easily removable dirt is also removed. Mopping is mostly done on floors. When mopping alone is not sufficient to remove dirt, then such surfaces are scrubbed with the help of a yard, bamboo broom along with the plenty of water to loosen the dirt and which is finally carried off by water. Polishing. When some reagent polish is rubbed on a surface to bring out the shine, similarly many other articles, decorative items made of brass, wood, marble etc. may be polished. Now let's study about cleaning materials. The various cleaning materials are water, detergents, abrasives, acids, alkalis, bleaches, solvents and polishes. Water is the simplest reagent available to us for cleaning. Some dirt may be loosened and dissolved in it. Detergents are available in powder, solid like soap, soap lace, etc. and liquid form and used with water to clean various surfaces. The basic ingredients in a detergent are surface active agents known as surfactants. It can have more ingredients like alkaline salts, bleaches, foam boosters, germicides and perfumes. Abrasives are sand, finely powdered brick, sawdust, weed bran, emery paper, fine ash, filtered chalk, etc. Besides these, steel wool, nylon mesh, coconut fibers are also used to scrub dirt. Their use depends on the surface to be cleaned and the type of dirt to be removed. Acids. Strong acids are used to clean toilets, water closet and sinks and are available in crystals or liquid form. Milder form of acids are also used to clean very dirty tiles and should be rinsed off as soon as possible after use. Vinegar and lemon are used to clean stains on metals like brass and copper. Alkalis, baking soda and ammonia are used as grease, emulsifiers and stain removing agents. Bleaches, stains on fabrics are removed by bleaches such as sodium hypochlorite, sodium perborate, hydrogen peroxide, sodium hydrosulfite, etc. Solvents, such as methylated spirit, carbon tetrachloride, kerosene, petrol, etc. are used to remove grease, wax and other stains from the surfaces. Polishes used on surfaces such as floors, furniture, leather and even metals. 
when rubbed on a surface they provide a protective covering to the surface and produce shine while cleaning it furniture cream the ingredients are beeswax 50 g turpentine 30 ml the method for making it shred wax and put it in a pan and cover with turpentine heat in a double boiler till wax melts cool and allow it to set the use for it it's used to polish light color furniture furniture polish ingredients linseed oil 50 g turpentine 30 ml vinegar 30 ml methylated spirit 30 ml method mix all ingredients together in a clean bottle and store the use for this is this can be applied on furniture with a pad of old cloth metal polish ingredients are soap 2 tablespoon ammonia 1 tablespoon boiling water 2 and 1/2 cup bat brick 50 the method dissolve soap in boiling water mix with the bat brick and ammonia cool and store in an air tight bottle use shake well before use soak soft toweling in the mixture let it drip dry wipe and drop with this toweling now copper cleaner ingredients are fine sand 4 teaspoon flour 2 teaspoon salt 1 teaspoon method mix all ingredients and keep in a jar moisten a small amount of above mixture to a paste by using equal amounts of vinegar and water the use is rub well into brass or copper surfaces to remove stains now let's study cleaning equipments and materials in home the different cleaning equipments are dusters dust pans mops polishing cloth brooms brushes buckets or basins dust pans vacuum cleaner dust pans are made of either plastic or metal and have flat surfaces rounded at the sides after sweeping dirt and dust is collected directly into these with the help of a broom and carried to a dust bin dusters are made of soft cotton flannel or artificial feathers mounted on a stick to clean loose dust and are also used for wiping various surfaces separate dusters is to be used for dusting dining table mirrors kitchen slabs etc they should be washed and dried after use mops are mostly made of thick loosely woven cotton cloth used to wipe dust from the floors which are dipped in clean water and squeezed before wiping the floors polishing cloth these are made of soft absorbent cloth such as flannel Dry polishing cloth helps to clean and shine the polished surfaces by rubbing them vigorously. Brooms are either soft or hard. The soft ones are used to sweep the floors whereas the hard ones, yard broom, are used to wash the floors. Brushes are used for specific jobs. Brushes with nylon or plastic bristles are used for cleaning carpets or furniture round feather brushes are used to remove cobwebs metal brushes are used to clean wire mesh in the windows buckets or basins metal or plastic buckets basins of suitable sizes are used to carry water detergents and chemicals so that there are no spills dust bins are available in plastic with a lid these should be lined with paper so that the garbage does not stick to the surface and need to be washed daily vacuum cleaner works on electricity and has a fan this sucks in the dirt and dust from the surfaces and stores it in a disposable bag inside which should be emptied regularly now let's study about schedule of cleaning schedule of cleaning done on three types daily clean a general cleaning done every day a weekly clean more thorough cleaning done periodically a spring clean usually done once a year or when needed procedure for cleaning a room once you enter the room open all windows to let the fresh air come remove all unwanted articles 
like the teacups, etc., and empty ashtrays and dust bins. Sweep the floor, dust all surfaces, including furniture and fixtures, brush or vacuum clean the carpet, mop the whole area, then replace linen wherever required, like in a bedroom, make the bed. In a restaurant, cover the tables, in bathrooms, check for towels, soaps, etc. Finally, adjust windows, do a general survey to see that everything is in order and to your satisfaction. Procedure for cleaning kitchen. Collect all used utensils from the counters. Wipe and clean the gas stove, electrical appliances and the counters. Wash all utensils. Sweep the floor. Mop or wash the kitchen with a mild disinfectant. Mm -hmm. General procedure for weekly cleaning. Start in the open all the windows for fresh air. Remove all unwanted articles like trays, teacups, bottles, etc. Empty the ashtray and dust bins. Remove all dirty linen. Remove stains from walls, doors, windows and furniture. Check and clean thoroughly that all the drawers, wipe, dust or polish table lamps, accessories, telephone if needed. Vacuum clean the carpets and other upholstery. If vacuum cleaner is not available, use a brush. Sweep, dust and mop the surfaces. Replace linen with the clean linen. Survey the room for any discrepancy and adjust windows as desired. Weekly kitchen cleaning. Empty out the shelves, clean the jars and bins, change the newspapers, rearrange the cupboards, then clean the sunmica on the cupboard, door panels with a wet cloth and clean the tiles. Procedure for spring cleaning. Ventilate the room, take off all linen including curtains and remove them from the room. Remove all the movable articles including lampshades, pictures, wall hanging etc. Wipe and clean everything. If necessary, remove all furniture and furnishings from the room. At least remove soft furnishings like carpets. Clean the cobwebs. Sweep the floors. Do the required maintenance work. Polish the furniture, decorative articles. Clean carpets thoroughly in the sun or send for dry cleaning. Relay it. Replace everything at the predetermined place including all furniture and fixtures. Rearrange the heavy furniture to give a new look. Dust and mop. Adjust windows. Survey the room to your satisfaction. Spring cleaning for kitchen. Empty out the kitchen. Spread the pulses, spices, etc. out in the sun. Then clean the cobwebs. Clean exhaust fan and light switches. Clean tiles with detergents. Spray insecticides in corners. Wash kitchen counters with hot soapy solution and if needed, polish them. Wipe stains on cupboards doors. Tighten any loose screws. Replace newspaper lining in cupboards. Label and arrange all boxes pack in place. Wash the floor. Hello students. Today we are here to show you how you can clean the utensils and various other articles made up of metals and other alloys. Myself Manisha and she is Pooja. We both are going to show you how you can clean the utensil at your home and at a very cost effective manner. We have this uh, dusting towel, this micro, micro fiber, fiber towel and this is the plain, duster, plain, duster. plain towel for soaking purpose. And we also have got the tissue papers like for cleaning the sensitive and uh, shiny articles like your glass and plastics and we have got the sponge bar and the scott bride as well. Corn flour is used to remove the grease from the utensil. Tamarind, salt and vinegar are used to remove clean, uh, gleam from brass or copper articles. Similarly, salt is used for removing the uh, hard stained articles, hard stained removals from the uh, articles. 
and we have got this is what this is the so soda or the washing soda so that you use if there is some utensil that we use for making cook making food like for cooking and if it got burn so for cleaning the burn scratches from the utensil we use the soda water we just uh, you know place some soda water dry soda powder on the utensil and keep it uh, to and keep it like that for some time and afterwards we clean it with a regular procedure and the burn marks will easily swipe out so we will first begin our cleaning procedure and we will first start with the cleaning of a copper utensil so we have this this is the cooking utensil and it is made up of copper so we will start cleaning it you can see the dark black patches and a very dark red tarnish over the surface of the metal so we have to clean it by using certain materials that we have at our disposable that is we have the tamarind salt salt and the vinegar mm -hmm. so these are the three uh, chemicals or th three materials by which we can clean the tarnish on the surface of the copper utensil so first what we do you, you need to take out the tamarind a small amount of tamarind would be sufficient for this size of utensil and with the tamarind you have to soak it in the water for 10 to 15 minutes and then you will take out the liquid and then you have to take a you know a little hard abrasive or a steel wool maybe and you have to just you know rub it like this and uniformly anti clockwise and then the clockwise whichever way you like you have to you know rub it like this and you will uh, see that the uh, dark red tarnish will start coming out like slowly and steadily you have to do over the entire area and wherever these are the edges or the curves where you feel that your steel wool or your scotch bright cannot you know go inside and cannot function effectively or the edges over here so you can use the old toothbrush right you can use the brushes so and for detergent for the uh, for uh, for the loops where are, uh, which is not available for your cleaning you can use toothbrush for the cleaning right yeah so you know like likewise you can clean the entire article for the copper and the same procedure you have to follow for cleaning the brass utensil also you must have uh, seen these brass utensils at your nani's place or at your um, mother's place like uh, earlier they were like used in every cooking but now it has been replaced with steel steels and materials so steel utensils so for cleaning uh, the brass article you can see this black marks so we will follow the same procedure we will take the tamarind soaked in the water and then we will do it like this in a clockwise direction and then in a anti clockwise direction with the circular motion we will try to swipe out all the tarnish or the dirt material which is present in it and same we will do for the entire thing and we will keep it for some time like 5 to 10 minutes we will keep it like this and then with the warm water and we'll take the normal detergent and we will clean the whole utensil and uh, if you are having decorative brass articles so there is one more thing that you can use to add to the shine that is brasso never use brasso for the eating or utensil cooking items as it contains poisonous substance yeah and it can uh, contaminate the utensil so not to brasso if you are using the uh, cooking utensil and now puja will tell you how you have to clean plastics and glass we need soft materials for the cleaning of the glass so for this we, we require tissue paper or newspaper which can be uh, soaked with water and you can evenly just rub the tissue paper across the glass or the material so that it there will be no abrasions or scratches on the surface for uh, giving it a shine you can use water water and adding vinegar to the water and you can rinse the glass article in the vinegar uh, water for a time and then you can uh, give, get a good article from it and the same procedure we are going to apply for cleaning the plastic as well and you don't have to use very hard abrasive for cleaning glass and plastic also because if you use a very hard abrasive like we have uh, 
use in cleaning the copper utensil like the steel wool it will create leave the scratch. marks it will create and a scratch over the yes, surface yes it will make uh, the marks over the surface so what you have to do you have to be very gentle with the with the soft material like the glass and the plastic you have to follow the same procedure that you have followed for the glass cleaning like what you do you will just take the scotch bright or the sponge you will clean it with the vim or detergent that we usually use in at our home place you will just clean it and with the sponge you can you know very gently uh, make it dry and remove the other patches and then by using this tissue you can further remove the watermark right and and rub it till it gets completely dry in case you have found very hard marks or uh, you know very rigid marks on the surface of the plastic metal then what you can use you can use this vinegar or kerosene and take a very small drop of the vinegar and then just rub it like this similarly you will rub it like this and from the sponge bar you will just wipe it off and keep it for dry and keep it like this for some time and then you will wash it with the regular uh, soap and water so so that the hard mark will permanently get removed so what articles we have covered here the copper the brass the glass and the plastic thank you